Welcome to Fantasia, home of the Melodious. My name is Azalea, and today, gonna be bringing you guys another Fire Emblem Heroes video. Now, this time, we're gonna be taking on the Oliver Grand Hero Battle. So, we're gonna be hopping right into the Infernal Mode. It's my turn now. So yeah, we're taking on Oliver, the admirer of beauty, and as you can see, Oliver is right here in all of his glory, right in front of us. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend himself. Alright, so we're going to run down the units that we're running and their sets before we hop right into this. So I am starting off with female Robin over here. She's running a standard Grand Raven and Triangle Adept set. Grand Raven doesn't really come into play, but the Triangle Adept really does help her take on this Oliver right here. I'm also running my Lucas, and Lucas is running um, his Slaying Lance, Steady Breath, and Quick Repose set, so he's going to be a very nice tank. He can even take on this Red Mage later on, which is going to be pretty impressive. Um, we're also running my Celica over here with my standard Ragnarok and Life and Death 3 set, and because she is actually minus speed, which is quite unfortunate, um, I'm running a Speed Plus 3 seal to help her out with that. And last but not least, I am running my Brave Lin over here with a very standard uh, weapon set, but I am also running Desperation because Desperation is going to help her um, initiate a follow-up attack immediately when she's fighting with this green mage. Uh, Brave Lin also has Hone Speed, which is going to be very useful to help support my Celica because she is minus speed and really desperately needs that buff. Alright, so without any further ado, let's just jump right into this. So the setup that I go for with this map actually takes a couple of turns to get ready, so I'm just going to go ahead with that. Lucas is going to swap here. And these new tiles over here, these trench tiles, are actually a little bit annoying. They slow down my units like Brave Lin, so that's why um, it actually takes a couple of turns for me to set up the proper positioning. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my Celica up here, and as you can see, Brave Link can only move one space into the trench tiles. They're kind of like forests, but for uh, cavalry units. Okay, so what I need to do is position my Brave Lin right next to my Celica over here, so she gets the Hone Speed buff, which is going to be very nice, um, before she goes ahead and enters combat. Alright, so Celica's going to come up here and attack this green Manakeet, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And thankfully for us, we're able to just easily uh, one round kill her, which is going to be nice. Because once the green mana keeps out of the way, we can actually move up our female Robin and my Lucas, um, so we can actually move up here and bait out the Oliver and this uh, Lance Cavalier. So now Brave Lin has to go ahead and reposition my Celica over, so she's back to safety. This Lance Cavalier can't reach my Brave Lin because this trench tile is over here, which is pretty nice. Um, but that forces the Red Mage to come down here and actually fight my Brave Lin. And it's actually kind of uh, nice that they put the trench tile here, and they had the Mage with the Owl Tome, so that this Lance Cavalier actually doesn't move and gives the boost to this Red Mage. So that's kind of interesting design. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move the female Robin over here, and I'm going to go ahead and swap with Lucas. So Lucas takes on the blue Cavalier, and then uh, female Robin gets to take on Oliver. So unfortunately, we took a lot of damage um, due to <laughs> Oliver's special, but that is fine, because he won't be doing any damage to us um, after that. Alright, so just as predicted, the Red Mage is attacking my Brave Lin, but we are able to retaliate uh, fairly easily. And this Lance Cavalier is going to lose his life because he challenged uh, Lucas, so there we go. Easily charging up our bonfire for um, the next turn. Okay, so now um, Celica with her renewal is actually going to be very, very important because now she reaches 27 HP, so that means this Red Mage won't actually be targeting her um, in our next round of combat, so that's going to be good. So first things first, we're going to take out Oliver and we're going to use our female Robin for that. So we're easily able to just finish him off right here. <laughs> Oliver's damaged art is just absolutely amazing. But uh, we're going to respect the man and we're going to take him out with Ignis. Um, so there goes our <laughs> glorious Oliver. Alright, so as you can see, Lucas with his bonfire actually can't take out the sword fighter. So we're going to need the help of Celica for that. But first things first, we're going to use our Brave Lin, and because she's in desperation range, she can easily take out this green mage right here. Um, there we go, procking Draconic Aura in the process and taking him out. So now our Celica can come over here and help weaken this Swordfighter. 
so our Lucas can actually take him out. So there we go, and our Lucas can finish things off. This sword fighter's uh, pretty bulky, so <laughs> yeah. There we go, Lucas finishing off the sword fighter. A uh, bit of an overkill, but that is fine. Now as you can see, the red mage is actually targeting my Lucas, because Lucas is the most vulnerable out of all of the other units that are in the range, so Brave Lynn and Celica. If Celica didn't have Renewal and she didn't heal that um, 10 health, the Red Mage would have actually just been able to finish her off, so there's that. Alright, so I'm just going to move my units over to the sides, and then I'm going to let my Lucas finish off this map with his Bonfire uh, taking on this Red Mage. So there we go. Um, that is how I beat the Oliver Grand Hero Battle. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, or found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.